starts now with meteorologist Dan Tomasso. All right, Dan, well, you've been saying this for days, that today would be dreary, and it is. And it lined up almost perfectly. I mean, you know, <laughs> this is one of those storm systems that it was so slow to get here that you could kind of just see the writing on the wall, even going back to Friday and Saturday, what was going to happen. But in terms of rain totals, that's where the uncertainty came in. We knew there would be some shower activity, but the question was, could we squeeze out enough rain to make a dent in the overall dry weather? And while there is damp weather around, Around the region, it's certainly not coming down in buckets there in Eville or in Wrightsville. And in fact, parts of Lancaster and Lebanon counties have barely gotten any shower activity whatsoever. But we could see where it's mostly located. Perry and Cumberland counties really have tended to be the hot spot over the last two hours, whereas down to the south and east, it's more spotty activity. And again, the farther east you go, we're just not seeing a whole lot of shower activity developing toward the Harrisburg area and west, getting some steadier periods of showers right along the river there. And then again, tapering off the farther south you go, but still some showers moving into Franklin and Adams County too. Notice all the gaps here in the rain to the south and southeast, and that's what's projected to come up our way through the afternoon and evening. So still some light spotty showers through this evening, but again, a lot more in the way of breaks coming. At least that's what it appears like on radar at the moment. Yesterday's high 81, yesterday's low 63. Overall, we were above average for warmth yesterday. That stops today. Temperatures in the middle to upper 60s in the coolest spots, low 70s for others. And the main reason why is this flow coming from the east. And this may be more of a picture for the next couple of days, too, that we see more of this east flow messing with temperatures, keeping things a little bit suppressed temperature wise. So our weather app forecast calling for again, spotty light showers. Not everyone is going to be seeing rain the entire day, but again, that threat is there for light rain through this evening. Now later tonight, a spotty light shower or two, and the same thing goes for tomorrow. I don't think chances are high for leftover showers. Why? Because this area, low pressure to the west fades. This coastal low drifts to the east through tomorrow and then backs up again near the coast by Friday. Both Thursday and Friday offer clouds, but I'm not convinced of any steady rainfall. So through today, a couple hundredths of an inch of rain. That's all we're talking about. Thursday and Friday mainly dry. This showing a passing shower on Saturday. I think Saturday is dry in general, but when we look at the seven day forecast again, there's not a lot going on. We see some clouds coming in from the east Friday, Saturday and even Sunday. Next week, there's another front coming through. It's the first time I've said a front is coming through in quite some time, so it's quiet up until Tuesday, but it looks like at least there are some chances of rain there to officially start out fall, which begins on Sunday. This weekend. It is here. It's, it's, it's almost I, here. I always get sad bidding farewell to summer. You and me both, Dan. You and me both. All right, thank you so much. Sure. Up next, Tupperware has announced bankruptcy.